Welcome to my ePortfolio. I'm Sarah Murphy, and I just want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about what diversity means to me. I think you have to be very careful when talking about diversity or considering diversity when you're planning your lessons or how you want to structure your classroom. Too often, we think about diversity just in terms of race or socioeconomic status, maybe sexual identity or gender will come up when we're thinking about this, but that's not all that there is in our classrooms. And the other aspect is sometimes we tend to think about it in terms of it's a challenge to overcome in our classrooms and not as something that can benefit our classrooms. And it's very important to move, to move past that sort of mindset. Um, it's important to recognize that regardless of our students' learning styles, physical abilities or disabilities, their socioeconomic status, their gender, their sexual or gender identity, that each of these students have a unique and valid set of experiences that inform the way that they look at the world. And if we really want to engage them in our classrooms, we need to try and find out what those experiences and views are. And if we can do that, if we can embrace our students' diversity and how they see the world and let them infuse that in our classroom, well, then we're creating a, vib a vibrant learning environment that these students can succeed in. So I put the call out that when we think of diversity, we don't just limit ourselves to gender and to socioeconomic status and to race though these are all important things to consider, but that we take a wider view, that we consider their diversity as sources of inspiration and opportunity, and embrace them as they are. Um, it's just a little tidbit in this, I've created an audio-visual format, a audio format, and a written format to share these views. Just one of the ways you can Embrace the diversity of your students by preventing your information in different formats. I hope you have a good day.